Okay, welcome to part two of painting the uh, faces for an illustration. I have the drawings completed in the vine charcoal and now I am just laying in a quick color wash. Uh, this is just mostly to obliterate the white of the canvas and uh, establish the darks of the shadows. You can go into this further and really develop it and build it up from here, but like I said before, this is to paint quickly. Here I'm working on the main character of the book and he already looks a bit like me. Um, my only effort really here is to maintain the likeness within um, from one illustration to the next. Uh, there's 12 illustrations total and I need to make sure that he's always looking like each of the other illustrations. You can see him here compared with the the reference photo of me. Um, there's a few minor differences. I changed the nose just a little bit and made the eyes a little heavier. Um, okay, now working on the next character. This one is a little bit easier because um, he's still uh, the same gender and also has facial hair. Uh, of course, I have to be careful to not accidentally make him look too much like me. But th this is easier just by doing little touch-ups to the nose, um, changing the, the shape of the cheeks, and of course the hairline. You know, hair is a, is a really easy fix, um, or hats like the, the women characters have. So here I am building up the shape of the face, and I'm kind of making this up as I go. Um, I'm going off of the original drawing, but I've also decided to make the cheeks even a little bit more full. Um, and I'm you know, messing with the nose shape a little bit. An important thing here is to be careful of uh, regressing in your skill when you're painting a bit from imagination. Um, so, so don't paint monochromatically. Make sure that you're still applying cool tones where there should be cool tones and warm tones. Um, I imagine that the, the place where these people are is um, a cool room. They're all kind of bundled up, so there might be a little bit of chill in the air. Um, there's some cool tones around his, his jawline that could be like a, a little bit of a five o'clock shadow. Um, so now I'll be starting to work on the old lady. Um, older characters can be a bit easier because you can get away with you know more wrinkles, um, deeper set eyes, and it just it's a lot easier. One of the important things here will just be to exaggerate certain differences from my own face or the the face of the actual model. Uh, I'm changing the shape of the nose. I'm uh, making the eyes more deep set. So in this beginning stage I'm laying in the the variations of color and tonality in the face um, almost like laying down tiles or, or patches. Uh, if you think of it like a mosaic in the beginning you can just put down the the colors um, and you can start to establish the shape of the face. You can figure out what, what is working. Uh, some things will not be working. When I'm satisfied with how the face is taking shape and with just the, looking at the patches of paint, then I'll go back in and begin to soften all the uh, little edges between each tile. And then at the end I will uh, put in little highlights. And highlights are very important along with shadows. They help describe um, extra little details and really bring it all to life. All right, and finally, the last character, uh, the younger woman. This will be, this is the probably the most different than my face. Um, she won't have the wrinkles, uh, she have, you know, much more feminine face. Fortunately, she's her face is mostly in shadow, so so I'm laying in the patchwork again, and even softening this one as I go a little bit. Uh, the modeling of the face is not quite as extreme because her face is mostly turned in shadow. 
uh, modeling a face like the other characters as uh, the shadow is a little more gradual as it turns into the light there's more modeling to do but with hers there's quite a bit less I just have to pick up a few highlights I'll make sure I get a bit more rosy in the shadowed areas the light that's shining on these characters is a cool light so that makes the shadows warmer in contrast all right that about does it you can see how easy this is painting several faces all from one model of course it does depend on your experience in painting portraits so if you don't have much experience i'd say uh, paint yourself friends family as often as you can as often as someone will sit for you and don't just rely on photographs um, if you paint from life it it'll show you the nuances of color and temperature changes that um, photos just don't pick up and when you build up more of that experience then it'll really help you when painting uh, from photos or from imagination later on to give a little more life to, to each painting uh, feel free to ask any questions or comment below this illustration is from the book John Knox, uh, which, as of this point, hasn't come out yet. It's by Simonetta Carr, published by Reformation Heritage Books. The information links are down in the description below. So subscribe if you want to see more videos by me whenever I uh, make them. A uh, little subscribe right there. Okay, thanks. Bye.